Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and today I have something exciting for you out there if you're into mind mapping. Many of you, and I really say many, reached out to me via email on Facebook and so on asking me is there any mind mapping app out there where you can actually handwrite. Okay, there are lots of solutions for mind mapping, but uh, nothing where you can actually handwrite properly. So all I was able to offer at the moment was a handwriting keyboard where you can just handwrite and it will translate it into typed text. I made a video about this already. But now I got a su suggestion in this awesome Facebook group. I need to keep saying this Facebook group is awesome because people ask questions and you get answers so fast. So thank you very much for pointing me into the right direction with card flow. So I downloaded the full version and I tested it and I thought, okay, I have to make a review about this and show you guys and girls out there that there is something where you actually really can do awesome mind maps. Okay, now we are here in the card flow um, app and this is actually one of the start screen. Uh, this is actually the start screen where you can see it is all built up with cards. Okay, it says already card flow. So you can go back and you have boards. So let's just create a new board. Go in here and there's a play plain board. All you have to do is now double tap to add a card. And there you go, you got a card and you can write something. You see, you have check marks, you can make tasks and write something down, change the color and so on. And well, nothing special so far, it is just a card. But what you have here, you can flip it over. Okay, so this makes it really great to study things. If you um, have an answer here and you put a question on front, you will have the possibility to study this way. You have the question you're answering and then you just flip around. So that's how I, how I studied actually, exactly with these cards, but with paper. So there was no iPad back then. Um, I would do it this way now. So now comes the good part. Let me show this. So now we have the card here. So let's just double tap again. We can go on the gear icon on the top right corner and then we can just change the template to only lines or, you know, gridded format and so on. And then we write some thing down. What we will do now, we go again to the gear and say add link. As soon as we press this, our another cards will come up from this board and just tap on this and there you go. You have now a uh, little blue uh, thing here that does nothing for now but if you go to the selection tool up there you can just tap on this and you will jump over to the other card that is linked to this good part is just here i don't know if you can see this but on the left on the left side you get now the arrows you can just jump back to the previous card you've been in and then even go the whole workflow back so whatever you've been looking for you can you are able to jump around so you can have a plus button here so you can quickly make a new card as well so um, if I if I write down this and make a two there, you see how quickly I can make all these cards up. And now there we go. We have all these cards in here on our board. Now I can go in here and um, I can snap to grid, put my, take my cards and move it around. Okay, so you, I can reorder all these cards the way I want. I can also select all these cards, dragging them around. I think that's really awesome. It feels really fluid and, and it's working very, really well. So we can change the board color as well. And we can even write something onto the board. And then the best part is, well, let's stay in the board, we can just drag around, you see the connection here between these two cards. If we just, we are on the board and we want to connect one, two and three, I just press and hold, press and hold and then just drag it over to two and then drag it over to three and drag it over to one. 
And now we have a connection between these three cards. I go to into one and now I press on there. I'm going to two, going to three and going to one. You see? So that's that simple. So what you can also do, you can just position, just press and hold and then you can remove the link or you can just position the link again. So what I can do, I could just make the, the size bigger and now I have the link and now I have the link on my three, just tap on three and we'll jump over. So you see the possibilities with this app are just endless. You, If you just press and hold on the board, you can add a card or select all. And once you select all, you know, you can uh, drag it around. But on the left button here, you can actually sort them. Okay. So if you have, you know, a connection between one, two and three, let's just take these out here. One, two and three. And then we just select all of them and then we make something like this. So everything is sorted. So you maybe you have one subject going on there and you just have to tap on one and then you can go through your cards like this. So I think that's an awesome solution. Select all and then you can also order them. Okay, so it makes it really easy to organize your stuff. I really like it. I recommend this app to everybody. It's worth any penny if you are studying and you are working with these cards or you want to make mind mapping because obviously you see Obviously you see you can make great mind maps there going on. So you can just press and hold the eraser and then you can say erase all ink. And now you can, for example, you know, say one, two, three, and make this a um, content list, for example, of all your other cards that would be possible as well. So all you have to do is add link and then we say one and we just drag and drop it over here. And then we say another link. And there you go. Now we press one. I'll just make the selection up there. Press one and we are here in card number one. What we could do, we could always add the content list, for example, on the bottom right, for example. And then this way, we always able to jump back to our content list and just go to the next card. Or you just go back here. Yeah, on the left side. Of course, you can also add text, but I think it's all about handwriting and it's all you've been asking for out there. Okay, one more thing. Um, if you're in the board section here, you can just press and hold and then categorize, okay? And then we can just make it different colors. Um, okay, and this way, if we just search, if we just scroll down, we have a search function here. We can search for our boards, but we can also sort it by category or time created or modified or name. So that's how you sort this. Then you can change the size of your board. What you also can do, you have on the top right all boards, or you can just say, I want to show only boards for category red, for example, or for green or and so on. So I think this is awesome. This is really awesome. I love it. And if you press the plus button, obviously you get a new board. The app settings, you can change in the app settings, you can change the categories. So here you can rename them. Okay, let's go back to this board here. Just open one more card. And one last thing I want to show you here, you can also include photos obviously, or you can even insert a web page. So if I press here, and I have google.com and I search for paperless movement, for example, I have this website and then we just press done. What this do does, it will just make a screenshot of your website and it will add it to, to the card, but even it adds a link back to this website so you will be always able to open this again so again whatever you open in here and whatever you see on this side when you open this you can by by pressing done you can say save changes so this will mean that you now saved the new um, screenshot and if we go in here and we change again the, the page we are in here now and we press done again it asks if we 
and we just just close it it will stay the same so I think that's really awesome and here again you can just flip over make some notes about this web page and then um, flip over again I think this is uh, the possibilities are endless that you can do you can really make awesome mind maps on a natural writing way. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and with your student colleagues and so on. I'm sure many students would love to know about this app. The link to the app is in the description below as usual. And to see more updates about this, subscribe to the channel and I see you next time.